Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the, the finished product of our free spirit journal. This is how the cover turned out, which I'm really tickled with. I just, I love how it turned out. And uh, there's the spine. I added some gold lettering to the side. And here's the back, which is just, oh, I love this journal. It just turned out so great. So let me give you some uh, specifics on it. It is, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> it's bigger than that. Let me get my ruler here. It is five and almost three quarters by nine. And it has, I do believe a two inch stone. Oh, it's a two and a quarter inch spine. And the mouth of it measures about three inches. It didn't gator mouth a lot, which I was very happy about, even after I got all the ephemera in it and everything. Um, it has three signatures with 80 pages all total, front and back. And let's get into this beauty. So we, uh, I did add a lot more stenciling and inking and things like that to, you know, kind of bring up the texture, the visual texture of it. So this is a front pocket here. And then we have a drawing card here. And this is something I, I had just like, the whole premise of this is like, she's traveling, you know, single girl or you know just finding yourself and uh, she's gonna write down all of her adventures on her her uh, come on get in there <laughs> on all of her her travels so that's why this is so eclectic actually but I loved the kit so much and working with it was such a joy with the colors and the pictures. It was just really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. And I want to thank Lisa again for this kit. She did an amazing job. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I kind of went overboard with it, but I had a good time. And I did add some gold paint on some of these pages with a, a stencil behind it. And, uh, yeah, some of these have, like, these little booklets I made for the, some of the, her pockets, using, of course, her kit. And the, uh, old calendar stuff. I have this flip up with this little envelope. You can put a little piece of paper in or a picture. And then, of course, you can journal here. And on the back, there is a card. I'm really happy with all the pages and all the colors. And oh, I put these little things on some of these envelopes to keep them closed. We have this. And I added like, you know, I mean, little things like that. It's kind of added to it. And you can put something, up, pictures or whatever you want in there. And then here's this tag. And of course, there's also a pocket in the back here, too. Again, this one always gets stuck, and I don't know why. And then these beautiful tags. I love how these come out. Nice big journaling spot on the back side of these. You can see how I uh, stamped on some of these edges. 
just to give them more interest. More journaling cards and more stenciling, more stamping. Lots of places where you can put pictures and you know, glue ephem you know, things like matchbooks or whatever from a club you went to or something like that. And there's like a little journaling card there that's made out of an old ticket. I got a this was this Elvis Presley show, 1957. April 3rd. I thought that was kind of appropriate. Made this pretty tag for this vellum pocket. And then our other little pocket, I made this tag. And it just tucks in behind our little, little fence. I finally found a place for our butterfly. <laughs> and I found a couple of little cards here that just, you know, old and made little journaling cards out of them. One was a postcard and this one's just ABCs. And they go in this little pocket here. And you see I had a stamp here and some more gold on there. And here's our envelope that I did up. I added some stamping and a little follow your heart and butterfly. A little bit of distressed lace. You can put whatever you want in that. And you can see all the stenciling here on the sides. Added some purple butterflies to that journal card. And a nice place for a Polaroid right there. And made a little booklet here. A little butterfly tuck it in this pocket. <laughs> Lots of journaling places or places to put photos. Or maps of where you have been. I added some more gold over here and added a few fussy, or not fussy cuts, but die cuts. More gold. And there's the center of our second signature. Dream big. Here's another envelope, and this I put on vellum this time to give it a little bit more backbone. But you can't really see it, but it's there. I'm gonna add some more tags to this envelope here. Can't be in there. Why aren't you going in? Always the way. The minute I turn the camera on, things don't want to behave. And then this also has this little envelope that pops out the bottom. A little bit of journaling space there. Tags here. A place for a letter or something here. And then a pocket over there. Put feathers on this edge of this paper here. More gold oh. stenciling. Some more gold stenciling down in here. Some purple stenciling up there. And some stamping and one of our uh, die cuts on this. Because it was so flimsy and just so delicate. I really didn't want to do too much to that. Some more 
stamping. More stamping. And a little bit more stenciling. And more gold stenciling. This is our third signature. And we have this journaling card. There. And then this little thing flips over this way so you could tuck a little keepsake or something in there. And then inside there is a little journaling card. That just tucks right in there like that. And then over here I made that billet, the little side tuck out of that snippet roll. And I made a journaling card to go in it out of an old postcard. I just backed it with an old postcard. This is some more colored paper that I made. It actually matches the inside covers. And then this has that little, the other little booklet. I turn around backwards so that the strings stick out so you can, you know there's something there. I stamped it with this card still in it, so her wing comes away. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but they match right back up. Another butterfly stamp. Another one of those long cards you can write on. Another journaling card. center of this. I did the same thing with another butterfly and a piece of vellum. So I can just tuck underneath. And here's a few more journaling cards. I love these. And then there's a little envelope here at the bottom. And this also has the a journaling card on the inside that matches the outside. Fuzzies. Enjoy it all. And it has that beautiful picture in the background inside the envelope. I do believe this one, I, I just glued this one down flat. No, it has a pocket back there too. So, put something in the back. pictures and whatnot. There's the second big journaling card. Keep it straight. <laughs> Lots of journaling spaces on there. I like big tags like that. More stenciling around the outside of the page. If you notice also, I didn't add any lace to the ends of the pages because I wanted this to be more utilitarian so that it's really usable. So you can just like toss it in your bag and go. I figured lace might hinder that. So another journaling card I made. Just to tuck that in here. More stenciling down the side. The journaling card in the kit and the quarter tuck in the kit. And here's another one of those little envelopes I made with a hidden paper clip. And there is journaling spot underneath. So you can put whatever you want into the envelope and then journal about it. And our last envelope pocket just has this pocket in the back. I don't think it's no, I glued that one all the way down. And this beautiful card. There's a little bit of fabric going down the side with a butterfly. And our last pocket in the back, the big journaling card. 
matches the front. And that is the back side. So, I mean, you can see it's got quite a bit of stuff in it. But like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't get your mouth much, but you're gonna wanna add stuff. So I, I was searching for a closure for this and come across, uh, well, I, I, I subscribed to her channel a while back. Wendy's Journal Adventure, she had a video on how to do journal closures because I wanted something different. And uh, so she came up with this. I have to give her credit for this because it was really brilliant. I'd never seen anybody else do it. But you just take a piece of lace, put a loop in one end and something super heavy on the other. Feed that heavy end through the loop. And it holds it tight, would you believe? And the more stuff that's in it, the tighter this actually will hold it. But all I did was take a key and a button and a little fabric rose and move them together and give it a little bit of interest. And you can let these out, make them make this longer if you need to as this expands. But yeah, that's a free spirit. And I'm going to be putting this up in my Etsy shop. Or I may be doing something else with it. So I will, I, I need to uh, come up with a plan and, uh, and I will definitely let y'all know what's going on with this beautiful journal in a future video. It will, it will be a, a tag note onto another video, but, uh, or I may just make a standalone video for it as to what's going on with it. But yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed uh, the parts you got to see me make <laughs> and you enjoyed the videos and I hope y'all go and go and buy this kit the 70% off is still going on so you can go and get the kit and make yourself your own free spirit journal just like this so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this and until my next video I sure do love you bunches bye